Celine, I have a class to go to. I talked with them. They'll cover for you today, so don't worry about it. But it's not good for your health, you going out like this. I don't think we should be doing- I'm fine. Besides, fresh air will do me some good, okay? I want to spend some time with you, so don't upset me. We'll chat on the way, then eat some good fish. It's the turbo fish season now. So, where are you going with Melissa? We want to go to Antalya for a weekend getaway, but it's not for sure. But you've bought the tickets already. We didn't buy them, we only reserved them. I'm so jealous of Melissa. Why? Well, because she's your best friend. And, of course, I want to be your best friend. I just want to come first always. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Isaac spoke very highly of you when I spoke to him earlier. He told me that you like the job a lot. It's fun. The more involved I get, the more I like it. <laughs> You'll see how busy it gets when the designer collection season starts. Next week, we'll be working on the new spring and summer collections. I'm warning you, you'll be very busy. Here you are, madam. I have to get going. I have a quick meeting at the Exporters' Assembly. See you later, then. Have a good meeting. Thank you, darling. If you have any questions from here on out, Mr. Isaac will help you with them. Don't worry. Then I won't. Kareem, you've raised my hopes very high. So please, don't ever let me down, okay? You know, the last time I was sick, I mean, when I was with Aiden, I wanted to die. I didn't do anything to get better because I knew he'd leave me in the end. Love was slipping through my fingers. You don't know how hard it is to watch your boyfriend become distant day by day and be powerless to stop it. But it's different now. Life is beautiful. I want to live. I want to have children someday with Kareem. I want to be a mother. And I really want to raise our children with him. Life isn't slipping through my fingers like before. Love is thriving. And every day, it gets better and better. Kareem? Welcome. Hello, Mother. What happened to your face? It's nothing, Mom. Son, will these... Mom, I'm telling you, it's nothing. I had a fight at a traffic light. It's nothing. Don't worry. Don't do such things. You'll get in trouble for it someday. Uh, what are you doing here at this hour? Don't you have to go to work today? I'm supposed to work, but I left early today to come see you. That's nice. Are you hungry? Shall I fix you anything to eat? No, no, thank you. If you're wondering about Oren, he didn't come back. I haven't seen him. He can't come back here. He's in custody. He's in custody, son? But why? Mom, what do you mean, but why? It's a shame that he was out there on the streets all this time. But then how did it happen? Alex did it. He found a way to do it. If only you had thought of telling Alex at the beginning of all this. Never mind all that stuff now. Any word on this mysterious landlady? No, I've heard nothing at all. I just thank God. What more can I say? We were lucky, and God helped us. Who is she? I already told you before, Kareem. She's a rich philanthropist of some kind. The lawyer, what about him? What's the name of the lawyer? His name is Samuel Allen. He gave me his card, too. Let me give it to you, son.
He's a decent man, a very good person. 